Hi guys, so today, this is not what I had scheduled, but our furnace went out and we have a guy coming to look at it, so I'm not gonna have the same amount of time to film as I thought I was going to, so we're just gonna do a get ready with me really quick, and it's just going to be as realistic as possible because I literally have to be so quick. So, I'm starting with the Dime Wondershare um, Tinted Sunscreen. I just saw a thing, I haven't actually looked into it, but I saw a thing that they're releasing different shades of this, and that's actually very exciting to me because this is very orange on my skin when it goes on. I don't think that it leaves my skin orange, but it is just something that I noticed. So if it had a um, cooler, it's not even, I don't even need a cool tone. It's just this is very warm um, for what my skin tone is. Um, but I like the product itself. It goes on really smooth. It doesn't really cover anything. I'm still not doing foundation. Um, it's been almost a year, actually. Well, I guess it, in January it'll be a year. So since I wore a foundation, just not for any really particular reason, except for I wanted to see if it made my skin significantly better, and really it hasn't. But I do always wear a tinted sunscreen. Hi, bug. Hi. Um, so then I go in. <laughs> You're a ham. Me? Yeah, you. What, 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 what's a ham? You just like to see yourself on camera and smile and be cheesy. Cheese. Yeah. Um. Also, please don't mind my hair. It was hair wash day and I always do that after my makeup. I did cut my own bangs though and like curtainy bangs. Uh, I am. I want uh, this on, I want that on. Okay, if you let mommy do her makeup. Also, why are you on the table? You are not allowed on the table. Uh, no, I makeup on. Okay, give me five minutes and then we'll do your makeup, okay? Can you give me five minutes? No, 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 no. Okay. No. I want makeup on right well, now. Well, we can't do makeup on right now, baby. Okay. just do a little concealer around my nose just because again I don't wear foundation and so uh, that's really where I get most of my redness is just right in this area so I just feel a lot better when some of that redness is taken away so the next thing for new concealers I actually just got this little um, contour kit palette at Ulta relatively inexpensive I've replaced the crusty tart one that I had for oops for years and years and years um, with this one and so far so good I don't use cream products for bronzing in the winter I do all summer but now that it's full, I've stopped and I've went back to a powder. Just to frame my face. This is actually really hard to do on my phone. Just to make sure it's like blending in real life. This one looks way more orange in the phone than it actually is in real life. Let me see. Oh, that's why. Okay. That's better. That's a little more realistic. Alright, so I actually just kind of... And I'm, I'm doing the exact opposite of what I just said that I was doing because I have not swapped out my powder blush yet. I'm still using the Naughty and Spice Nude Stick. Um, one, because I love it, and two, because I don't have any other blushes at, the, at this point in time because I threw away the one that I was using last winter because it was all busted, so... And I go pretty heavy handed with blush just because I just feel like that's what I like. I like what I like. Can't. I guess that's it. 
Um, the next thing that I've been doing for eyeliner is I've actually been using this Revlon InstaFix highlighting stick. Um, this is Gold Light. I don't even know if they make this anymore. I have no idea how old it is. I just found it when I was going through some stuff. And I've been using that as like the base of my eyeshadow. And then I take a semi-fluffy brush, like a small, and I kind of go up here because um, that blends it rough, kind of. I'm like the most unprofessional person to explain makeup because I just do whatever. Okay, that's good. And then sometimes I actually just go into these darker colors and darken up um, the edges, which is what I'm going to do today since I'm in a hurry. Sometimes I'll actually pull out an eyeshadow palette, which again, don't know how old this is or if it's still available, but the um, Beauty Bakery proof is in the pudding. I got it in some sort of box probably a long time ago. All of my makeup is probably expired, so please don't, don't come at me for that. <laughs> Except for this, I just got this Ulta bronzing palette, so. But besides that, most of it is probably expired. Okay, so I just go on the outside like that. And then I just take my finger. This is where I'm actually going to go into the proofs in the pudding because I like this shimmery one for the inside of my eye. And I just use my fingertip to get it there. Let me look at the actual mirror. Taking the same fluffy brush. Just making sure everything is blended and not too crazy. Um, then I will take a very short stipply brush and go into whatever color I used on the dark outside and just go on my lower lash line. And then I'm just going to use a clear brow gel. I'm just going to go up. Again, sometimes I fill them in, but nine times out of ten I just use this stuff to get them going in the right direction. Um. Then I actually have been using the Dime Beauty Volume Mascara. Um, I actually kind of really like it. I love the brush. I have the one, the one I normally get is like a Dollar General one. And what I like about it isn't the actual mascara, it's the brush. I like a really short brush like this. And I like that this is a short brush, but I actually like this mascara better. So it's kind of unfortunate because it's, you know, more expensive than a Dollar General mascara, but I do really like it. Um, so there's that. I know in all the other get ready with me's, I've talked about not liking masca my mascara, but this time I actually found one that is decent. Um, maybe there is something to be said about spending more than 450. Sometimes. And I don't curl my lashes just because I'm lazy. All right, and here comes my daughter, so I'm running out of time. Um, so yeah, so I will just let my hair air dry. I do some like crazy parts. I, I just don't know if I can get behind a middle part, even though that's what I cut my bangs, thinking I would do a middle part with a curtain bang. But, I think I'm too, I don't know, I'm too used to the other ones, you guys. Like, sometimes I can do it, but I just think that when it's over on this side, like, now, now can you put just, my makeup? More, vibe, more my vibe, not gonna lie. So, 
Um, now I'm just gonna let my hair air dry and then I might curl it later. I haven't decided. Depends on how long the guy's here before we go to dinner. Oh, I almost forgot for um, my lips. <laughs> just a second. Uh, for my lips, I'm just using Carmex um, Classic Lip Balm, the medicated one. It like takes me back to my childhood because my grandma always used this. But I just, honestly, I just really like it. I'm always a uh, like limp. Like, I guess I shouldn't say always. Sometimes I wear lipstick, but most of the time I'm a lip balm girly, so I really like this. I did replace my Laneige nighttime lip scrub thing just because I honestly just truly like it. Mommy says yours. That is mine. Oh, mine just got put on. No, can you put the can you put the clear one on, please? With the pink top. Can you find one with a pink top? Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, so uh that is this is my look. Um minus that. And yeah, so now we're gonna wait for the guy. Hopefully That's we can right. come fix no the pink lid, not the purple. Hopefully we get our furnace fixed and it's not a uh, huge ordeal. Um, we will see. That but one. thank you so much for watching, and I will see That's you in the next one. video. Bye.